Hey. Yeah. Hey, it's just me, Peace. Peace? So, I have something for you. You do? Yes. And it's from the future. My guys are mounting it on your desk as we speak. They are? Yeah, dude. And what's wrong with you? Have you ever spoken with a gnome before? No, sorry. I don't speak to gnomes. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. Today I am genuinely excited to present to you a product that is so new, it's not even out yet. This right here is a prototype nearly completed of the McCavity Agility or MA2 Sniper. The very first regulated PCP air rifle ever made by Californian brand McCavity Arms. This thing has a modern built, and for me, one of the most elegant looks I've ever seen. The MA2 Sniper is super light, weighs only 6.4 pounds or just about 3 kilos, which makes it easy to carry around. This one here has a 22 inch rifled barrel that becomes 26 inches long with the suppressor. The tank holds 267 cc's of pressurized air, topping off at 3,600 psi or 250 bar. There is so much attention to detail all around. This right here, my friends, promises to be an excellent PCP air rifle. And for all you spec lovers, you can pause it right here on the label for some factory numbers. And allow me a big thank you to Nate from the Airgun Channel for connecting me with McCavity Arms. In fact, the Airgun Channel just recently came out with an amazing video review of this gun and I truly recommend you to go check it out as well if you haven't done so yet. It is a must watch. Okay, just a few more details about this rifle before we head out to shoot it. The MA2 comes in 177, 22, 25 and 30 caliber. Of course, I requested the 30 cal. Interestingly, the manual says that regardless from the caliber, all rifles should output around 880 feet per second of muzzle velocity, but we'll confirm that in a few minutes. Today, we'll attempt some accuracy testing with this nice piece of glass, the NV100 Plus Day and Night Vision Scope by One Leaf, which is basically a scope with a computer attached to it. And I plan to actually record with it. So as always, thank you so much One Leaf for sending it over. Anyway, we're mounting our mega scope here on the Picatinny rail, on the upper Picatinny rail. As you see, it is split, divided here by the breech. And the gun also has a bottom rail for lights or for stabilizing gadgets. Anyway, let's get this thing loaded so that we can finally go out and shoot it. With the 30 caliber version, you get three eight shot magazines in the box and the loading could not be simpler. As you just stick in a pellet, rotate the mag and so on. Today I'll be shooting these JSB 44.75 grain Hades Diablo pellets, while Nate from the Airgun channel also recommended to use these 
AEA 45 grain center punch Diablo pellets. He reviewed the 22 caliber version and found them to be great. So let's see how they do in 30 cal. Anyway, enough with the talk. Let's head out and shoot this thing. All right, folks, let's start with some hard surface penetration test with our Tunnel of Destruction, uh, which is made of five stainless steel uh, trays. Again, these are very, very hard resistant trays. As always, I will put the links down below so you can see for yourself what kind of material they are, how they're made and all that. Um, again, we have five in a row. I'll be shooting the JSB uh, pellets and uh, from about 30 feet away and let's see how many of these stainless steel trays we can go through. Well, MA2 versus stainless steel. I'm already falling in love with this gun and I just started shooting it. So, seems like, well, we have found a completely flattened pellet. This is the first stainless steel. I tried not to hit the same point spot over. Uh, sometimes the pellets did kind of converge in the same spot, but again, I tried to remain as wide as possible we did this we made a nice wide hole in the first one uh, much less on the second one so we do have something like two or three four a couple pellets did go through again i shot eight jsb um, 44.75 grain pellets the third stainless steel tray uh, only has one hole in it so probably one pellet went in to then just dent the fourth one and finally nothing on the fifth one so 30 caliber ma2 will go through at least three stainless steel trays all right folks time to test some accuracy with this thing unfortunately i cannot go too far my backyard range is quite limited so we're going to be shooting uh, from about 60 feet, about 20 yards. That's the maximum I can go. I know it's not ideal. Nevertheless, we'll try to be as accurate as possible given that one of the highlights of this gun is supposed to be accuracy itself. Let's go for the head now.
Well, you see me smiling, folks, because this is the most accurate that I've probably ever been in my only two years of shooting air guns. Being a cameraman, you know, I always think that that always has helped with my aim. But anyways, long story short, this is what we just produced only from 60 feet, only from 20 yards. Nevertheless, first time shooting this gun. So in terms of air consumption, um, I had filled the bottle, uh, the tank right at the limit between the red and the black, that is 3,600 PSI. I shot two rounds, so a total of 16, 16 shots, and that brought us down to about, what, 22 PSI, more or less. So we used just about half a tank for two rounds, again, 16 shots. So you probably get a good 30 shots with a full tank. All right, it is ballistic gel time. 10% ballistic gel time. Uh, this is a, uh, a ballistic gel block that I recycle. Uh, some of you guys asked me uh, to show you how I recycle my ballistic gel. So I made a quick video, here it is. And there you have it. So we're going to shoot our recycled uh, ballistic block and I put it on this measured board here, uh, if you will, where we can measure in inches uh, how deep the penetration of our pellets go. Well, folks, simply wow. This is the first time with an air gun that I go through a whole block. Um, all the pellets kept on going, bouncing or hitting the plywood barrier I have at the end of the range. I was going to shoot 16 rounds, totally useless because they all went through. So, uh, again, not much to measure. So I just stopped at eight rounds. The first two or three I shot from 30 feet. Um, as I saw that they went through, I said, well, let me move back, back to where I, 
I was for the accuracy test, so from 60 feet, and same thing, just like butter. So all I can say is, wow. All right, folks, time to get some numbers and let's chrono test this beast. As always, we will measure the speed of the pellets in feet per second. Behind me, you can see four recycled two and a half gallon plastic water jugs to catch the pellets and also to see what kind of penetration this gun has uh, through water. All right, well, the manual didn't lie. We were in our mid 800s feet per second. Let's see how many water jugs we went through. One, into the second, out of the second, into the third, and a little bit into the fourth. Look at that. There's a pellet hard, stuck pretty hard right here. So, wow, almost four two and a half gallon plastic water jugs. All right, folks, we are done testing this thing today. Let me know what you think about this gun. I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, absolutely loved it. Um, the, the cocking lever is smooth like butter, just as the trigger is. Um, extremely accurate as we saw, extremely powerful as we saw. I don't know exactly what the price range is going to be, but I know it's it's going to be medium to low so definitely an affordable gun um i just absolutely loved it all around and another thing i love is the looks as i said many times already in this video it is extremely elegant all black like that uh picatinny rails just just i don't know let me know what you think of it <laughs> at this point uh, and thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video and for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you guys at the next one.